would have rather that. been cut out. This is 
such a strange way to say the word. Somebody wonderful is coming. 
Amen. I sing hallelujah. Amen. Now let's have a word of prayer. And I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the names here that we have before us. And I particularly want to get a hold of this first name. His name being wonderful today. Amen. Think about that. We've got fellows by the name of Red. I mean, who in the world? Red. We got we got brother, you know, brother Steve is not here. Brother Ken. My name is David. And we've got, you know, we've got names of ladies, Aaron and Brittany's and Beverly's over here. Amen. Those are wonderful names. But how would you like to be called? Your name shall be called. Your name shall be called wonderful. Amen. That's unique in itself. Amen. We're going to talk about it. Let's pray. Father, help us today. Lead me how you want to, Lord. I give myself to you today. I realize I'm nothing. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve to say a word for Jesus. I don't deserve to be in this book today. I give you my all, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to be here. Thank you for this week and all the fellowship and all the good times we've had together. Bless your people for being here today. Pray <coughs> to the end that someone will be encouraged and helped this morning. I pray salvation be brought to those that might be lost. And Jesus Christ would convince us today by the Holy Spirit of God how wonderful you really are. Thank you for all you do for us now. Give us the word today, I pray now. We'll thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. <coughs> These names, five names, are wonderful names in the Word of God. Isaiah again paints us the picture here, and he gives the classic reference of his first coming, his birth. That's his first coming. But he also gives us reference to his reign, which will be his second coming as well. That the Messiah will come one day in all the wonderful titles that we see here. We see so many things here. He says, unto us a child is born. It's a reference to the humanity of Jesus Christ coming in his first coming. I don't know about you, but I thank God Jesus became flesh and dwelt among us, the Bible says. Amen. He knows what every one of us go through today because he was flesh at one time in his life as well. Amen. And God became flesh. And unto us a son is, a child is given. And uh, that's in reference to his deity. Jesus was given to us as a gift. It was a gift from God. And I thank God for God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten son. We ought to thank God for the gift that he gave us right. in his darling, wonderful son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Talks about his deity. The government shall be upon his shoulders. Speaks of his strength uh, in reference uh, as well to the millennial reign that Christ will rule the world one day. He's coming back as King of kings and Lord of lords. Amen. Right. And if you're saved, praise God, you're going to be with him. Amen. And we're going to come back with him. You say, preacher, well, what do we see here today? And ask the question, what about his qualifications? Does he have any qualifications? What will he be like? Can he satisfy any of these key questions here? And, and what about all of his qualifications? What is his personality and character like? I want to say it is wonderful. Amen. Amen. It is wonderful. You say, what is his educational background? Well, he knows all things and he's the supreme counselor and teacher of teachers. Amen. Amen. He's, uh, he knows all things. You say, what is his nationality? I'll tell you what his nationality is. He's the mighty God. Amen. Amen. That's his nationality. You say, what? You say, what is his previous work experience? You know, when you go to fill out an application, you know, they want to know what you know and where you used to work and what what's your qualifications. Yeah. And you, you come to the, the one who's named Wonderful and the Mighty God. And you say, well, what is his qualification? Right. Well, praise God. He is the creator of the universe and he's the father of all eternity. Amen. Right. Time doesn't mean anything to him. He is eternity. Amen. Amen. And that, that's pretty 
good work experience if you ask me. And you say, well, what is his special talent? Well, praise God. Well, he's the God man. That's a talent in itself. Nobody else can do that but the God man. Yeah. The Lord Jesus Christ. He's the mediator between God and man. He's the one that brought man uh, to God. And God came to man and reconciled man to God, making him the Prince of Peace. And, and boy, boy, I thank God for that today. So these five names reveal that Christ is all uh, that we need today. Amen? Now don't get too excited about this. I'm just bragging on Jesus yeah. today. Amen, Amen. Y'all either ate too much sugar or too much prime rib. I ain't sure which one. Some of you ate both, I know. But I want to tell you today, if you're weary, if you're withering, and you're wounded, praise God, I know someone who is wonderful today. Amen? Amen. If you're confused, if you're confounded, I know who the counselor is today. If you are meager today and miserable, I know somebody's called the mighty God today. If you're erratic or evaded or you are uh, one of the eluded ones, uh, I know the everlasting Father today. How about that? If you're perturbed or perplexed or those of us that are in pain, a lot of us are in pain. Miss Doris here today, she's in pain. There's several of us uh, that are in pain today. I want to tell you today, I know who the Prince of Peace is. Amen? Amen. And so there's a lot of names here. There's a lot of things we can say in these wonderful names here today. And so let's look at it here. Look at that first phrase there in verse number six. His name, his name shall be called Wonderful. Are y'all looking at that today? His name shall be called Wonderful. I think there's some 200 and some other, some smart fellow said this over 256 names of, of the Lord Jesus Christ in the Bible. How about that now? I think that's enough names right there, but here's one of his names right here today. And you say, well, praise God, it's the name ascribed to our Lord. It truly describes his nature as well. He is wonderful, but many do not realize this and really don't even know how wonderful Jesus really is today. You say, preacher, how wonderful is it? Well, we've got to understand what the word wonderful really means before we can get off on how wonderful he really is. Amen? What does the word wonderful really mean today, you, you would ask? You see, the word carries on the idea of above that which is ordinary. Jesus is above that which is ordinary. Amen? It means unique. It means different. Amen. I'm telling you about somebody today whose name is wonderful. He's above the ordinary. He's unique. He's different than everybody else. I can talk to you about it. His name is wonderful today. Amen. Praise God, I'm getting excited just talking about that. Yeah. The crossing of the Red Sea on the dry land, that's wonderful. Yellowstone yeah. Park and Niagara Falls, that's wonderful as well. And we see here the sun standing still for Joshua was wonderful. Yet there are no in words that can describe the one who's above everything, the one who's different than everybody, unique to everybody. His name is Jesus, and his name is wonderful. Amen. I like that, don't you? Amen. Hey, praise God. That blesses yeah. my heart. I mean, he in glory, in grandeur, in wonder, in admiration. All of these names aspire to the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He possesses it. He, he, he was a wonderful, he is wonderful today as a man. You say, well, how wonderful is he and unique as he is a man? Well, he had a birth, didn't he? Yeah. Did you have a birth? Well, he's wonderful in his birth. Can I get an amen? amen? He's different. His birth was different than anybody else's. Amen. amen. It's unique. It's above ordinary in the fact that he is wonderful as a man. I mean, there's no getting away from his birth. Christmas carols were sung by those who do not know him. And we did a lot of singing this week. Did a lot yesterday. Out the thousands of people around him yesterday. And yet there's a lot of secular things are going around and secular songs and history. And of course, Santa Claus is always around. And they, they try to personify Santa Claus. And some of them try to make Santa Claus equal with Jesus. I'm going to tell you, there's a difference in the two. Amen. Because the one I'm talking about that's wonderful had a wonderful birth. Right. His birth was different. Praise God. I like that, don't you? The Roman emperor 
members are but a member today. But praise God, the manger in Bethlehem is still going on and the thoughts and the affection are still going around the world. There has been no birth like it. Hallelujah. He was born of a human parent. A virgin named Mary miraculously gave birth to the Son of God. Amen. His birth was miraculous. His bed was a manger which was a feeding trough. And yet he's been feeding millions upon millions upon millions to this very day. Isn't that wonderful? He's the bread of life and he's still feeding souls of men every day. Every day I get a chance to get up and feed on the Lamb of God, the one who had a special birth, a unique birth, different. I say his name's wonderful today. Yes, he's a wonderful man. Amen. A wonderful man. Amen. I praise God for that. So people, I'm thankful today. He came from glory to the to a glory place to be born and not to curse. He came to save drunkards. I like this. He came to save thieves and prostitutes and blasphemers. Amen. He came to save bad people. Hang on a minute. He came to save good people too. Amen. There's a lot of people that think they're good. I want to tell you something. Good people go to hell too. Amen. And he came to save good people as well. Amen. What a wonderful Savior. Well, not only was he wonderful as a man in his birth, but he was wonderful in his life. I'm going to go quickly with this. I'm just going to brag on the Lord today. Y'all want to go to sleep? Help yourself. I'm bragging on him. Hallelujah. He was wonderful in his life. His life was wonderful in that it was sinless. Amen. It was useful. He was useful. He was unselfish. He was unstained by sin. Amen. Only the enemies could personify him. They could only bring greater charges. That the only charges that these enemies could say was he claimed to be God as the Father. Amen. Guess what? He is God as the Father. Amen. Amen. I mean, uh, the, the, the enemy said, well, he sat out with sinners. Praise God. Yeah. I'm glad he sat out with this old sinner one day. It saved my soul. Amen. Amen. That Amen. makes him wonderful in his life. Amen. Amen. Praise God. All through the Bible, you see Jesus having compassion on people. Praise God. Yep. He let a sinful woman come near him and touch him, and her life was changed evermore. Amen. He did good on the Sabbath day. I'm just trying to tell you yep. about his life. Amen. His life is wonderful. Amen. Amen. Let me go on. I want to say his works were wonderful. He was wonderful in his dealings with men. Amen. Think about this wonderful Savior here today. He didn't have to be patient to us, but he was. Right, right. <laughs> How long did he wait on you? Some of you wait still now. Come on. He's long suffering. He's kind. Amen. He's loving. He's wonderful in his works. Healing the, the sick, raising the dead, opening the blind eyes, casting out demons, feeding the thousand, comforting the brokenhearted, forgiving sinners. Only God, who is God, who is different and wonderful and unique to do such a thing like this. Amen. Nobody else can do this. Amen. He's wonderful. He, he, his works are wonderful. I want to say, praise God, even the books couldn't take, they don't even have a yeah. total record of all of his yeah. works. Amen. John 21, 25 says, that, and there are also many other things, many other things which Jesus did, the which, if they should be written, every one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books right. that should be written. Amen. Yeah. Right. Jesus did many wonderful things that they couldn't even put them in all in books, all the wonderful Right. Well, glory to God. Hallelujah. I say that's wonderful, don't you? Amen. His Amen. works are wonderful. His words were wonderful. I like that. John 7 and 46, the officers answered, never a man spake like this man spake. Right. Right. Nobody ever spoke. You know why? Because he's unique. He's different than everybody else. He's wonderful. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. And so he's wonderful in his birth. He's wonderful in his life. Uh, how many can amen the fact that he's wonderful in his death? Yes, amen. Amen. 
Well, praise God, he is. The bitter cup of suffering of mankind, I mean, could serve, to, uh, could serve was, was, was drunk freely. He drunk it freely uh, by the Lord Jesus Christ. He drunk it all. The intensity of such uh, that he cried, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me there? He died alone so that you and I, I'd say that's wonderful, amen. He died as God's son on an old rugged cross. And the events of his death added wonder as midnight doomed the, the noonday throne here and the earth was awakened from its slumber. Earthquakes and quakings and shakings. Uh, the veil of the temple was ripped and torn in two and only Christ, praise God, could do such a thing. Uh, Christ was alone and he was unapproachable. But praise God, he was not martyred because he gave his life freely for us. Uh, the weight of the world's sin was upon him, amen. Man, that's why he died. He carried your sins and he carried my sins. Amen. Amen. Right. Oh, I want to give him praise today. Never there has been a death like this and never will there ever be another one. Amen. Amen. He's the first and the last. I want to tell you, he willingly, vicariously, lovingly, sacrificially, he gave it all for you and me. Amen. Amen. Thank God for that. I tell you, his life for us, paying sin's wage in order that we might have eternal life. He knew it was come. He prophesied 700 years before he was born. We were told that this Savior was coming. Amen. Praise God. I like that. Yeah. Sarahs, Sarahs and saints with drooping wings cease their harmonious breath. No sweet celestial music rings while Jesus yields to death. Their hearts are mute. Not one faint string thrills to the strange surprise. But all in silence mourn their king who loves and bleeds and dies. <laughs> That's our Savior. Yeah. Amen. Wonderful. It is day. Yeah. All the hell must have rejoiced that day with glee. Oh. And my body from the headquarters of Satan, probably with delight, said, Thank God, he's dead. He's dead. We got him. He's dead. And I'm gonna cry, I'm telling you today what makes it wonderful about the death of Christ is the fact that he didn't stay dead. Amen. 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 I'd say that's wonderful. Amen. Well, my Savior did die on the cross, but bless your heart here. Yeah, he's not only wonderful in his birth and wonderful in his life, he's wonderful in his death, but praise God, he's wonderful in his resurrection. Amen. 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 Hey, Muhammad is dead. <laughs> Buddha is dead. Allah, whoever that fella is, he's dead. Amen. My Savior died, but he is not dead. Amen. Amen. That makes him different and unique. That makes him wonderful. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. Well, hallelujah to that. Praise God. I tell you, he's wonderful. He's not only wonderful as man. Hold on to this, but he's wonderful as God. Amen. Right. Right. Amen. 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 Yeah. He was a wonderful man, but he's wonderful as God. Jesus is God. Amen. As a man, he was created. <laughs> but as God, he was the creator who created from nothing. <laughs> Have you ever thought about that when nothing was nothing? He created the sun, the moon, the stars. Amen. He just flung them out into the galaxies and praise God that they, they became alive. Amen. Amen. And they've been brilliant. May I say to you, he's a wonderful Savior today. He's wonderful in the fact that he's God and made everything. And may I just remind you, he called every star by name. And he knows every star by name. Amen. He knows the hairs on your head. And he knows who you are. And he knows your name. Can I get an amen today? Amen. He's wonderful today. Right. He's wonderful Amen. as God. Amen. He's wonderful. I tell you, his past is finding out. He's God, the God man, combined in one person. And that's the wonder of it all. His name is wonderful. Thank God I want to call upon him because he's wonderful. Amen. Right. Well, if that didn't bless you, look at here at the Amen. next. His name is not only wonderful, but his name is called Counselor. How about that? Today? Amen. How about that? We see here, <coughs> excuse me, Isaiah 25, Isaiah 25, verse 1, O Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. 
Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and true. His counsels are of old and they're faithful and true. You've got a God that has mighty counsels and they're faithful and true. Isaiah 28 verse 29. This also cometh forth from the Lord of hosts, which is wonderful in counsels and excellent in working. I will tell you, they said his name should be called Wonderful, uh, the Counselor. Amen. He's the Counselor. How about that? Boy, we live in a complex and perfection problems uh, of life. People have problems. Uh, uh, it drives us to need a, a divine Counselor. Aren't you glad, thank God, as travelers we need a compass, we need a map, and we need a guide. Well, i got one I can talk to you about today. He's not only a counselor, but he's a wonderful counselor. Amen. I tell you, he's unique and he's different, but praise God, he's got all knowledge and he's got all counsel today. Isn't that wonderful Amen. today to brag about him? A counselor advises, a counselor instructs, a counselor guides in directing the conduct of others. Amen. That's exactly what he does. And these are custodians in the crisis of life. Praise God. And you say one of the requirements of a counselor. Well, this is just what Jesus is in our counselor. What does it require to be a counselor? Well, number one, he's got to be close and accessible. Praise God. Amen. That's right. Did y'all get that? Right. Y'all wake up here. Anybody wake? I'll come where y'all are. Whoever's awake, I'll pray. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He's just a call away. Amen. Amen. Be a counselor, you gotta hear it. Right. Deep right. Stuff. Great I'm glad we don't have to go to the Pope. <laughs> yeah. Wear the long dress. Got a six six number across his crown. Amen. 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 And go through him to confess my sins. When he rent the veil from top to bottom, he's telling you something. Right. right. He Amen. said before the Old Testament, you had to go through a priest and go through a tent and go down to the Holy of Holies and once a year. But when Jesus said, Hallelujah, it is finished on an old rugged cross. That's when the veil of the temple ripped from top to bottom. And Jesus said, From now on, you can come in my throne room and find grace to help in time of need. He's close today, man. He's close. He's just a call away. You can call on him and he'll hear you. Praise God. Well, that blesses me today. He's my counselor. I've called on him in the middle of the night. I've called on him in the morning. I've called on him. My counselor has always been on the line. Amen. Amen. He'll never be out to lunch. Amen. He'll never be gone. You ever get somebody on the, on the phone and say, hold. Yeah. You hold and you hold and you hold and you hold. I get some mad praise God. I just call them back and hang up on them about ten times. <laughs> Put the on hold and hold and hold and hold. Ball. I'm glad, thank God, there's a glory line. It came from the blood of the cross of Calvary. And his name is Counselor today. And buddy, I'm telling you, you can get free access to him. Boy, you don't have to get a phone card. You can bow your head, bow your heart. You don't even have to say words, praise God. He knows what you're going yes, through today. And he can hear you today. He's a wonderful oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I never been able to preach all this today, but praise God, I'm having right. a good time. Yeah. Amen. He's a counselor. Right. I tell you, what's the requirements of a counselor? Well, he's got to be close. Number two, he's got to be confidential. Amen. I'm going to tell you with the Lord we can get intimate. Amen. I might be able to get intimate with my wife or get intimate with you as friends or some, some church members. And they might go blabbing or tell somebody else. And just, uh, But I'm going to tell you, we have a competent counselor today. Amen. That when I go to him, he always, he's the only one that hears it. He's the one that knows all about it. He knows all about what David needs. And I get intimate with my counselor today. And praise God, he can help me alone. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank God for the competent of the of the counselor today. He's compassionate. Amen. I like that. He's a compassionate counselor. The Lord is tender, loving. He's concerned. 
To him we were oh, we were not a case, uh, but we're his child. Amen. We're not problem people, but people with problems uh, that have the potential because we have a counselor that knows all about us. Uh, and praise God, we don't have to worry about the problems. He wants you to bring the problems. Amen. Amen. We're his child. I love that. Amen. I'm telling you, he's capable today. Amen. Counselor's capable. Amen. The Lord has power to help. Say amen right there. Right, amen. Yes, sir, he does. He's at our disposal. He, he's omniscient. He's omnipresent. He's and he, and in Aaron in, uh, in all of his counsels. He'll never give you the wrong counsel. Right? Amen. Right. Huh? Right. You ever got counsel from somebody and they led you astray? You won't get that from the Lord. Yes, sir. You know what I like about it? He, you don't have to charge, he don't have to charge you a hundred dollars an hour to get to it, praise God. Right. I'm glad I can talk to the Lord and He's it's free. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. Amen. I can save a lot of people hundreds and hundreds of dollars. They could bring and give it to me. I'd probably take it too. Amen. <laughs> but all I gotta do is point them to Jesus and that'd save them hundreds of dollars. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You, you listen to some whack who's a quack, amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Right. Right. You don't know more the more than you do. I had a young teenager having problems, and I was helping him in the church one day, and I went with him, took him, he needed a ride to go see his uh, his advisor or his mentor. I don't know, they got a psychologist or whatever. I walked in there, and that woman in about five sentences said, go ahead and drink a little bit once in a while. I said, hey! stop right there. I said, you lost your mind, woman. Psychologist told him, take a little drink once in a while. Feel the notion. Just take a little. Get just feel a little edge off. You know. Oh. I said, ma'am, let me look at you. Look right here. I, I said, let me tell you something. I said, uh, I said, most smokers started with one. That's why they're smoking three packs a day. That's right. Most drunkards are sitting in the gutter out there on Wino Street, starting with just one little drink. Right, right. I said, you tell this boy to drink one little sip. I said, before it's over, he'll be drinking a six pack. And next thing you know, you're carrying a 24 pack. And then he'll carry both arms out there. And there'll be some drunk on the side of the road. What's wrong with you people? You don't have the answer. But there's a great cancer. He's got all the answers. And he won't lead you astray. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. That's him today. Yeah. Amen. He's a wonderful counselor. Well, praise God, he's able to communicate. Amen. Right. He Amen. speaks to us through his word and by his spirit. You know you're a child Amen. of God by that. Praise God, he can guide you. Aren't you glad of God's guidance? Amen. Amen. God's guidance will guide your course. I mean, he leadeth us beside still waters. And, and he leadeth us to green pastures. That, that, that's our counselor today. Amen. 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 God's guidance will guide our course. He'll guide our considerations. I mean, our siblings. The meek will he guide in judgment. Psalm 25, 9. And the meek he will teach his way. Amen. He will guide in cessation when spiritless or when we're released from this life. I mean, I mean, here, 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 uh, uh, old Larry uh, went on to be with the Lord uh, there the other day, Richard, and, and, and God was there the whole time there. Psalm 48, 14, for this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. Amen. Amen. Listen to me. Death didn't slip up on God just because your loved ones and my loved ones. Uh, he was there even unto death. Uh, let me tell you something about dying grace. Uh, God will be there when you cross the river. Amen. Amen. I'm not the kind of God that will help you cross the river. Amen. 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 And he's just so That's wonderful right. today. He'll be there on the other side of the river when you get over there. Amen. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you there's grace in living. There's grace in dying too. Amen. Amen. Praise God. He'll be there even unto death. Well, hallelujah. It's already 12 o'clock. Praise God. I like bragging on the Lord like this. Amen. 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 I like it. Praise God. Well, let's get a hold of something else right here real quick. Look here at the third one. We'll just get three of them right now. Might try to preach a little bit in the middle of the auction tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. No, no, I'm just kidding. Look here, it says his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor. I like his name, the Mighty God. Amen. Amen. Not just God, not just unique and wonderful, not only the Counselor, but he's the Mighty God. 
Our Savior, this Son that was coming, this Son that's prophesied, the Lord Jesus that was coming, He's coming as the Son. That little Son born in Bethlehem is coming. He's the mighty God. That's His name. That's His name. Are y'all getting that? His name shall be called the mighty God. He's got a bunch of names. And I like this name. The title mighty God in the Hebrew is the word El Gibor. Or G-I-B-B-O-R. El Gibor, which means God's strong hero or king. Amen. The mighty God is our hero. <laughs> the mighty God is our hero. He's the king. Amen. He's God's strong hero. We got a God strong hero that's named Jesus today. Amen. Boy, I like that. The Lord Jesus Christ is the hero and he's the king. He's the hero of the entire universe. The little baby born in Bethlehem, hallelujah, lying helplessly on Mary's bosom, held the universe together. Time was invaded by eternity. And the eternal one entered into the realm of the earth. What the Messiah was to do could only be done by God himself, the mighty God. Amen. 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 Oh, I'm grateful for that today. I thank God for him today. Amen. His hands tumbled diamond stars of the solar system and the galaxies into the black belt of space. He set, to, set the stars on their course. He's the mighty God. I want to say this today in closing real quickly. He's mighty enough today. Our Lord is mighty enough today to mend your broken heart. Amen. Amen. If he can make the stars and the moon, don't you think he can take care sure. of you? Right, amen. Right. Yeah. Right. He's the mighty God to move mountains and problems from your path. A lot of physical problems in here today. A lot of difficulties, a lot of financial problems. I'm glad the mighty God can help us amen. move all the problems that are in our way. I watch people, I watch my mother go through things today. This week, been with her a lot this week. She takes a lot of shots and different things for her sugar. It's because she's been around me. We've been eating everything sweet. That's probably, I've I done stirred her sugar up. It's my fault. But praise God, I'm glad that God can take care of us and He can move the mountains in our life. Right, amen. He can mold your life. He can make your, you, you like Christ. He can do that each day. I mean, He can maintain your soul and keep you eternally secure. No man can pluck you out of his hand. Oh, yes. and nobody can pluck you out of the Lord's hand. Hey. Amen. I mean, the mighty God, he has you in his grasp. Right. Amen. Oh, that blesses me. Praise God. I bet the mighty God can meet every need that you have in Christ. He's the mighty God. And as the mighty God, he overcame difficulties for you. As the mighty God, he overcame diseases. He's the great physician. As the mighty God, he overcame danger. He's powerful. His power in Gethsemane revealed that he was omnipotent. He's a mighty God and he overcame death. Great careers have been terminated by death and the grave, but not the Lord's, praise God. His ministry just began when he went in the grave, amen. Right. And when he came out glorious, he's the mighty God. Amen. Boy, I tell you, he, he is the mighty God. You know what? I'm like the little boy. As they're trying to describe the Lord, how big God is. They were in the classroom trying to describe how big the Lord is. Y'all come on and get a song. They were trying to, everybody was going around, you know, saying how big God is. He made the moon and he made the stars. And then a little fellow was in there in that classroom and he was listening to all that, you know. And he was trying to figure out what he was going to say. And, you know, and everybody, man, every, it seemed like everybody that said something made God bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And finally, when it came to his turn, he, he just didn't know what to say. He said, I don't know about y'all. He said, y'all been describing all this about how big God is. But he said, this is how big God is. God is so big. He said, I'm amazed that that big God can live down in my little heart. Amen. Amen. And you know what it takes? It takes a unique different, wonderful counselor to be so big that he can make and create everything and yet be so big and be so big that he can arrange a way where he can live right down in your heart. Amen. I say 10,000 hallelujahs oh, yes. to the man that I know, the God that I know who's wonderful. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Do you know how wonderful he is in your heart? Amen. His name. His name shall be called wonderful. I want to testify a little bit. He's sure been wonderful. Oh, yes. In my heart. Can't explain all the details. I might not know how to have the vocabulary and in words be able to tell. But there's a great big God that's so wonderful that lived down in my soul. Amen. And I want to say I love him today. I know his name. Every once in a while I get to praying to him and talking to him. I get to bragging on him. I told him this morning, come to church. I said, Lord, I don't deserve you. Yeah, that's right. yeah. I said, I don't deserve to stand behind his pulpit. Yeah. I don't deserve to open my mouth for who I am and what I am before you. I'm talking to him about the church this week and bragging on the church and thanking him for this church and all the good times and the good fellowship that we've had. I tell you, I've enjoyed the meals. I've enjoyed sitting around with each other and, and just having a cut up time and a good laughing time and a good family and fellowship time. I've enjoyed that. I said, Lord, I don't deserve, I don't deserve a church like this to be able to fellowship with people that love God and love each other. We don't deserve anything. Yeah, right. He gave it all to us. Amen. I want you to think about how wonderful, how different, how unique, how above the ordinary he really is. Amen. Somehow, try to funnel it right down into your hearts. Realize how wonderful he really is in your heart. Amen. And I think before you leave here, you ought to give him some praise. Yep. You ought to give him some thank. You. We realize that the son that was coming our way that was going to be born in Bethlehem, he had a name. He had many names. But I like it. Wonderful. Let's all stand today. Heads are loud, eyes are closed. I want us to sing that a little bit, Brother Ken. His name is wonderful. We're going to sing that just a little bit. You say, Preacher, I'm glad I know that name. I'm glad I know I'm saved today. Can you tell me today? One place that he'll guide you is he'll guide you to a place called salvation. The greatest thing that ever happened to you is when God guides you down the path to show you that you're lost and that you need a Savior. You've never been saved today. The Lord can be wonderful to you right now. If you'll let him guide you down to the path of salvation. You say, how do I get saved? It's simple. You call upon the one who's wonderful. The one who died on Calvary for your sins and took your place. If you'll be honest with God to Him today, He knows us, He knows you. If you'll be honest with Him today, walk down this aisle, give your heart to Christ, I tell you, He'll save you today. Yes. You need to be saved today. God loves you. Why don't you let Him be wonderful to you today? Come and give your heart to Christ. And let him write your name in the Lamb's Book of Life, and he'll be the most unique, different, above ordinary, wonderful person in your life, and you can walk with him the rest of your life. Oh, praise God, there's no greater joy in that, having that peace in your heart, knowing that he guided you to salvation. You need to be saved today. I want you to come and give your heart to Christ. Christians, he's been wonderful all these years you've been saved. He's walked with you, fellowship with you. And he's a mighty God and he'll meet every need you've got. Maybe he needs to be your counselor today. Maybe you just want to tell him how wonderful he really has been in your life. Whatever the need is there, child of God, I'm glad he can meet every need. Maybe you've got a need you need to put it on the altar today. And just tell the Lord he is the mighty God. Maybe you need to bring him to the altar today and say, Lord, you're wonderful. You're my counselor. Maybe he needs to guide you in some area today. But put it on the altar today. Maybe he needs to be the mighty God. Well, he's able to do it today. Praise God. Christians, you come today. Put it on the altar.
Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we want to tell you one more time, you're wonderful. You're above average. You're above all the averages. You're above the ordinary. You're unique. You're different, Lord. There'll be nobody like you. Thank you, Lord. I believe in this room right now, Lord, there's somebody has a need. Save me somebody financially. Difficulties going through. Jobs and difficulty. Financial dollars. And Lord, you can't get their needs met. Lord, I'm glad that you're a mighty God that can move that mountain to help us in that need. There's some folks going through some physical pain. Physical troubles. Hurting in their body today. Oh, God. Help them today. Well, Lord, there's a greater need today. That's the God of salvation. Some here today need Jesus. Oh, God, I pray you'll reach down and save them today. Give them the great courage to walk down the aisle and give their heart to Jesus and be saved today. The greatest day of their life is when they find out that Jesus can be wonderful in their own heart. Oh, help us today, I pray. Help us as we sing. Take this invitation now. I pray in Jesus' name. Let's sing it, Brother Kenny. His name is wonderful. Sing it. Sing it to us. His name is wonderful. You need to come. You come on. His name is wonderful. Think about him today. His name is wonderful. Think about it. Jesus, my yourself right upstairs. You can get yourself in a soup line. Amen. And uh, where is Miss Marie at? Miss Marie, where are you at? What kind of soup we got? Tater soup? What kind? Vegetable soup. Meatball soup. Broccoli cheddar. Praise Jesus. Amen. Be back here at 6 o'clock. Auction tonight. Bring all your goodies. We'll auction them off. Let me say a couple of announcements real quickly. We have a Christmas card. Uh, what do you call that thing? Board? Mailbox is what it is. Back here on the left. It's from A to Z. If any of you need a directory, if you'd like to get Christmas cards, 
you can put them in the box there. Instead of running everybody's hands and all that, a lot of people do that. They'll put, just put them in there. Uh, my last name starts with an M. Hallelujah. Okay? But anyhow, use that, all right? All right, use that. I had another announcement. I forgot what it was. It must not be important. Fellas, we, those of you that are going to the prayer advance, we need to know. We need to know. Some of you men need to know this, that several men are helping other men go for free to this prayer advance, okay? There's several like that. If you want to go to the prayer advance, you think you want to go, we want you to go, all right? We need you to get on the list back there. Kenny's got the list. Uh, Please let us know me, okay? It's the end of January, 1st of February. We want you to go. It'll be a blessing in your life, okay? So sign up. You ain't got to pay nothing today. You just need to know that you're going so that we can get, get it all going, all right? Get it all together and let them know how many is going, all right? All right? All hearts clear today? Any other announcements? Did I miss anybody? All right. Let's be dismissed in word of prayer. Y'all come back tonight and go have a great time, all right? Let's be dismissed. And Brother Larry dismisses, would you, bud? Amen. Father, as we come to you in prayer, Lord, we come to you and just thank you for your goodness to us. Yes, Lord. Father, thank you that you are the mighty God and you're the wonderful counselor. Yes. Lord, that we can come to you in time of need and know that you'll answer according to your perfect will and not what we've got figured out. Yes. God, I pray for your power to be in our lives, Lord. Father, as we serve you, may we serve you with a happy heart and a glad heart. God, may we be the people that you want us to be in front of each other, in front of others. God, dismiss us with your love. Bless uh, the rest of the day and bring us back tonight the next appointed time. We love you, we thank you, and we praise you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.